Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad, and today I'm at the Detroit River. For today's video, I'm fishing at a popular location known as the Post Office. In today's video, I'm using my Rushmore 3000 size reel made by RUNCL. I got 10 pound Power Pro High Vis Braid. I've been running in Lama Glass X11 10 to 20 pound float drift rod. In today's video, I'm using one ounce jigs made by Marsh Tackle. The most popular colors for me today were the purple and green and the blue ice. For the plastics, I'm using Dump em Soft Plastics in the 3.75 inch. The blue ice seems to work very good for walleye. To finish the rig, I'm using Anderson's Pro Bait Red Steiner Hooks. adding a link in the description below for a 15% off coupon as well as my Amazon affiliate link to easily order this reel. Net job. Oh, <laughs> At least you got it. You're lucky it was in the mainframe. Nice. Still got it. Nice. <laughs> when fishing this method, I've cast slightly upriver. I like to cast as far as possible and jig it slowly back to me. Once cast it out, I let my bale stay open until I feel the bottom. Once I feel the bottom, I close the bale. I noticed that small jigging movements produce a lot more bites than large, high lifting movements. If you keep the bale open, generally when you feel the bottom, you can see your tip flex a tiny bit or you will feel a slight thud. I like to reel in my fish as fast as possible to make sure they stay on the hook. It's coming right in. While I'm jigging, I do a couple rotations just to pick up the slack. After every jig, as you can see, I do a small rotation, making that line tight so you can feel the bite. Yeah, I've seen a couple of people walk off with a couple of fish. Yeah, 
right? Yeah. Oh, there's a fish, Em. Em, get the net. It's a big one. That's a big one, I think. Feels like a big one. Yeah, this is... I think it's big. Head first, Em, okay? Now we'll be going over some steelhead fishing methods. The easiest method I found is float fishing. Right here I have 11 gram float made by Blood Run. I have two split shots below the bobber. That allows your bobber to stay straight while flowing down the river. Next, I have a barrel swivel, another split shot below that, then I'm running an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And with the same color scheme as we were fishing for walleye, right here I have a purple and green RBM jig. I tip these with two to three wax worms. For casting for trout today, I'll be using my RUNCL Titan II 3000 spinning reel with 15 pound high vis Power Pro braid. And then all I'm using is small spinners. Right here is one of my favorite. It's the pink and chrome size six Panther Martin. Another great lure you guys can pick up is the MEPS Black Fury. Right here is the size three and it works very well for trout. There we go, pretty steelhead. Very good. I lift it up a little bit. Our purple and green, cool. <laughs> oh, nice. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shake! Oh, get, gotta get out of those rocks. Don't want to lose it. Doing good. Nice fish, dude. Oh, yeah. See, that's why that drag set light. All right. Oh. Listen, I'm warm. <laughs> yeah. See, now it's worth falling in. <laughs> yeah, bring it right around here. Yep. Nice fish, it looks like. Oh yeah, it's in, it's in, it's in the mid-20s. Oh, he realizes he's fucked. He's like, no! I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh. It's too far. That was real. I took the, I leave the GoPro on that you got on your chest, uh -huh. and then take the other GoPro. There we go. Point it downward. Woo! That definitely looks dark like a baby seal. It definitely is. There we go. Oh no! Aww. Had a little nibble, I think, right there. Oh! 
Oh, there we go. Oh! I got a fish right here. Yeah. There you go, lift up. There you go, good job. <laughs> <laughs>